Well, ladies and gents, Paddy Jenkins and Kevin Feige's Star Wars films have been shelved, according to Variety. They have the exclusive on this. This is pretty crazy news. I'm making this video very, very quick before I go live on the HCast stream, which is my live stream show with a panel of guests. And I'm sure we're going to cover this as well. This is pretty mad. Pretty, pretty mad. It's not unexpected, though. It's not unexpected. This was kind of on the cards. Let's be honest. So let's take a look at this. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Let's dive on in, shall we? So, Star Wars Shake-Up. Kevin Feige and Patty Jenkins' movies have been shelved. But Taika Waititi is looking to start in his own film. So his hasn't been shelved. Now, just as an FYI, Patty Jenkins' film, we've been saying for a long time that that was going to be done. Uh, they came out and gave some bullshit excuse that, no, nah, no, nah, it's still happening, it's still happening. No, everyone, everyone was right that said it was going to be done, and it's done. Um, yeah, her star power in Hollywood is gone, basically. You only have to look at the sequel to Wonder Woman to realise that. She got given more creative control, and it was a disaster. Taika Waititi, though, is an interesting one. It's irritating that he's self-inserting into that movie. I'm not a fan of constant Waititi. Uh, I think he's alright in very, very small doses. I think he's kind of gone up his own bum a little bit and smelling his own Kool-Aid. Uh, Kevin Feige movie, that's the interesting one. Why has that been shelved? That's the really interesting one. So again, let's take a look, shall we? So, when Jon Favreau stepped onto the red carpet for season 3 premiere of The Mandalorian on February 28th, the Disney Plus show's creator and executive producer was feeling nostalgic. It's been a while since we've all been here together like this, Favreau told Variety, evoking the November 2019 premiere for the launch of the show and of Disney Plus itself. It was before the first episode aired. And at that time, The Mandalorian was a scrappy land speeder in the vast Star Wars galaxy, nipping at the hills of the Rise of Skywalker. Basically, this is just setting the scene for however much crap they announced during that time, which was a lot. So The Rise of Skywalker, on the other hand, imploded in spectacular fashion. The film earned just half the grosses of 2015's The Force Awakens. And the widespread scorn for, of scans, uh, fans and Star Wars movie development has been stuck. Uh, basically, nothing's been happening for a while at all and then they started to put some things in the works so december 2020 kathleen kennedy announced that wonder woman helmer paddy jenkins would direct the next star wars movie it was a one-off adventure rogue squadron good idea but in september of 2022 two years later disney pulled the title from its schedule uh, and sources with knowledge of the production say it's no longer an active development at the studio a rep for lucasfilm did not respond to a request for comment in December, Jenkins said in a statement that she was still developing Rogue Squadron, but I don't know if it will happen or not. AKA, and I said at the time, it's not happening, it's dead. And it's dead. But this is the interesting thing. So Variety has learned, that's not the surprise. Patty Jenkins' movie being binned off is not a surprise. But the Kevin Feige one is no longer in active development. What? Why is that no in why is that done? That's so surprising. That's the surprise. Now, to me, there's there's two trains of thought here. Two trains of thought. The MCU is seeing very diminishing returns. That's a fact. You look at the trajectory of the income. They're going downhill. Ant-Man 3 is a massive bomb. Now, there's two things. There's two trains of thought with that as the keystone. Kevin Feige is like, look, I, I literally, we need to get the MCU back on track. I can't focus on anything else. There's that train of thought. Or he's been booted off. And there's that train of thought. Both are very, very possible, actually. So when news of Feige's involvement with a Star Wars film broke in September 2019, it churned up fan speculation since widely debunked that he was in line to replace Kathleen Kennedy as the leader of Lucasfilm. The movie remained alive as recently as May when screenwriter Michael Waldron told Variety that he'd started working on a Star Wars screenplay for Feige. I'm enjoying having the freedom on that to do something that's not necessarily a sequel or anything, Waldron said. Uh, five months later, Feige hired Waldron to write the script for 2026's Avengers Secret Wars, the endgame-style culmination of Marvel Studios' multiverse saga. Between that project and the 19 other titles and counting that Marvel's announced for theatres and streaming in the next four years, 
Feige's responsibilities to the MCU are keeping him far, far away from Star Wars for much of the decade. I that's I don't think that's it. I think he's been booted off. So that's so surprising. That's the real surprise. So Ryan Johnson, the in-demand filmmaker, has made no secret that he still wants to make Star Wars movies. Uh, but he's not doing it because he's got ben uh, Benoit Blanc movies with Daniel Craig uh, in season two of Poker Face. So he's not going to be doing any Knives Out films, uh, any Star Wars films uh, anytime soon because he's got Knives Out and then Poker Face. However, what's going on? Well, Taika Waititi. Sources say Taika Waititi's film continues to work on his feature and would most likely have a part in it as well, similar in prominence to his standout role. As an so basically, this is ah. Oh. So sources say his film is still working, and he's going to be in it in a similar vein to what he was in terms of how how prominent he was in the film Jojo Rabbit, where he played an imaginary version of Adolf Hitler. So Lucasfilm was yet to officially confirm it. Sources say the studio is committed. To a Star Wars movie from director Sharmina Bay Chinoy, a two time Oscar winning documentarian. Uh, she's just an activist who made a live action narrative debut with two episodes of Ms. Marvel. Uh, uh, and this is the Damon Lindelof movie with uh, Sharmina Bay Chinoy working as the director. This is so surprising. This is so surprising. I am absolutely gobsmacked by this. I, I genuinely am. I really am. The fact that Kevin Feige's off, Ka Patty Jenkins being done, everyone said that at the time, that's not a stretch. right? That's not a surprise, Patty Jenkins being off. Who cares? That's, that was a given at that, at that point. Kevin Feige being booted off, I think... Yeah, I mean, it could be as simplistic as well, he's just too busy. But he was, those, things, those things were in the works anyway. It's not like those suddenly crept up on him and he was like, oh, fuck, I'm so busy now. So I don't think that was the case. I think he's been booted off. But let me know what you guys think. Taika Waititi? Nah. I'm not interested in it. I'm not going to lie. Especially not if he's massively in it like he was in Jojo Rabbit. I quite like Jojo Rabbit for all intents and purposes, but yeah. Less Taika the better, I think, at this point. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. Take care.